Hi and welcome to this week's SEO video blog. This week we're going to take a look at the free link analysis software called SEO Spyglass. You can download the free tool at www.link-assistant.com forward slash SEO hyphen spyglass. Okay, so once you've downloaded the uh, free software, it sends you an email and you have to um, click one of the mirrors to download it. Once you're installing it, it gives you some other options. It um, also asks if you want to install um, Link Assistant, which is a link building and partner management tool. Rank Tracker, which is a keyword research tool and search engine rankings checker, and also the website auditor, which is uh, a website content, uh, content optimization tool. So we're just going to look at SEO Spyglass today, so we won't install those just today. We might take a look at them in a future blog. Okay, so once you've installed the software, when you first um, log in and go for a new project, it asks you to, for one of these two options. The first one is to enter a keyword that you wish to rank well for, and the second one is to enter a competitor's URL to analyze. Now basically, um, when you enter a keyword um, you want to rank well for, it takes your top competitor. So it looks at google.com and it takes the um, website that's listed first on google.com. Um, with the competitor URL, you just put the URL in it, a specific URL of your competitor or your own site and it analyzes the backward links. Okay, so this, for this test we'll just do web design um, for the keyword. So you click next. On the free trial, you can only um, use Google.com, unfortunately, and it only analyzes backward links from Yahoo Site Explorer. So just click Next. Now this takes quite a while, so we'll skip this bit and we'll come back to you once it's complete. Halfway through the process, you get asked to uh, update search engine data and then would you like to update your project for backward link factors now? You need to do that in order to get all the information that we're going to analyze. Okay, so once it's uh, complete, it gives you the first thousand links, and you can see they're all from Yahoo. First thousand backward links from the Yahoo Site Explorer, I imagine. If you look on the top of the screen, you can see all the different variables. Now, what's quite good about this is you can start to order the variables um, by these different factors. Um, so you can see um, it's basically picked webdesign.org from the google.com because they're page one, number one. Um, and then allows you um, to order things. So we can order their anchor text. So we can see by scrolling down, they've got quite a lot of anchor text that says webdesign.org. And as you scroll down, web design tutorials, web design library. So straight away, you can see they've got a nice varied link, uh, varied anchor text to come up for web design. So, um, and there are a lot of links for web design as well. So not only have they got just web design links, they've got links that are related to tutorials and library. Again, you can also search from the page page rank. So you can look at the link. So we look at this. Um, actually, we'll order by the page rank first. So we're just clicking the top, it orders it. So page rank seven, and they've got a link from free template online.com and template months.com, both page rank sevens. Now I think they actually own those domain names, so they're obviously going to be interlinked for free. It's really good though, is if you're looking at your competitors, you can then look at the, the big, their best links um, in terms of page rank, and you can go ahead and approach those companies if you want to try and um, get links from them. Now another thing they've got is this link value here. Now if you order by the link value, you'll see that they, um, this software automatically gives links a value. So it ranges from five right down to pretty much nothing. Um, and basically what this does, it's a little algorithm and it looks at the page rank of the page that the link's from and the, um, the outbound links and it gives it a link value, the higher the better essentially. So you can look at your competitors and go, right, well these have got a lot of links that are green and orange and yellow, which are obviously quite good. Um, you know, you, your site might have more orange and red, so you can see straight away the difference between their backward link strength and yours. Also, a few of them you might uh, recognise, you've got um, whether it's listed in DMOZ, so you can see all the sites that are listed on DMOZ, recall quite a nice link value as well. So maybe that goes into the algorithm. And also you've got Alexa rank, so Alexa rank basically governs the traffic ranking for a specific site, so you can see that um, they've got, some of them have got really, really low Alexa ranks as well. Uh, although the link value here doesn't really represent a good Alexa rank, so that's probably not incorporated in the algorithm. You can also perform quite good analysis against a few other competitors, so you can perform a new project up over here, and basically start again, and that will give you um, another report, and it will just a tab along the bottom here. So you can have all your competitors up along the bottom, and then you can just flip between the three or four to, to see which ones, where to get your link from essentially. So have a play and see if you can put any of the tools to good use. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them on the YouTube blog.